Hey folks, this is Eric Dupre coming live from Houston, Texas from a undisclosed, unofficial ASTM testing lab here in Houston, Texas. So what we have here today is a 100% geopolymer. We have three test cubes and what a, what a geopolymer is, is basically a cementitious liner material looks and acts just like concrete um has structural properties but the kicker is it has zero portland cement it does not go through a hydration process a true geopolymer goes through what's called a polymerization process so when the materials are solidified mixed up it acts and looks just like a concrete cementitious product but being a geopolymer and going through a polymerization process it has more of the corrosion properties of plastic. So the thing is, you have a muriatic acid in a plastic jug. Now, the muriatic acid does not chew through the plastic jug because there's no chemical reaction. The plastic is inert, just like glass. If you put uh, corrosion, corrosive resistant uh, chemicals inside glass, it's also inert. It doesn't cause a chemical reaction. Now, when you have Portland cement, which is the most common construction material on planet earth um, cement is not inert to corrosion therefore what happens is the glue binder the cement the portland cement that binds and holds it all together the structural integrity to glue everything together it gets attacked and it gets compromised because it has a chemical reaction with corrosion so if this truly is a 100 percent geopolymer it does not have portland cement as its glue binder uh, constituent to hold it all together you're going to get some very very unique pro properties to where it has compressive strength and strength just like concrete and cementitious products but it has a corrosion resistance of ceramics glass and plastic in one material so to get started in california they do a uh, pickle pickle jar test in texas we do a mason jar test so what happened today is it ain't going to fit. So I need to break it down into a size that'll fit. So I'm going to show you something right off the bat that's a little bit different. There's some kind of cementitious product, a brick or something like that. So I hit it a couple of times. It breaks and cracks. I'm going to take the same geopolymer and apply the same force and pressure to it. This thing ain't doing shit. Okay, there we go. I had to hit it on the corner, try to break it off. But this thing, you can already see the physical properties of regular cementitious material. I mean, I'm beating the shit out of this geopolymer, and look what it's doing. It's cracking the substrate underneath it. Anyway, so that's just one of the physical properties of a geopolymer. It kind of exposes some of the inner, inner sides of the uh, geopolymer. Now, geopolymer, you can use the same sands and rock and other things like that because the sand and the rock, they're also inert. They're also inert materials to corrosion. It's the glue binder. It's the glue binder that glues everything together, which is the Portland cement that uh, is the weak link in uh, corrosion resistance and breaking down with that chemical reaction. So I still need to break this. Okay, so uh, it might fit, but. All right, so here's a geopolymer. <clears throat> Took me a while to break it into pieces so that it'll fit in our mason jar. So I'm gonna stick it in here, but I'm gonna put the muriatic acid in here. I'm also going to take some metal and I'm going to put the concrete and cement products in sample A and then in sample B I'm going to put the geopolymer so we do them side by side. So here we go. Different metals just so you can see what what happens to metal and muriatic acid. They don't like each other either. So in, in you go. Got a screw over here. There you go. Okay. 
Now here's the cement chunks with Portland cement. They're going in. There's another one. It's going in. So we'll call that one. We'll call this one uh, A. Six eight. 2022 okay we'll call this one B this one's the geo and six eight twenty two all right folks so we got our side-by-side -side comparison samples I'm gonna put them in this dish so I don't mess up my table so we got Cementitious and metal in A. And we're going to put the geopolymer in B. I kind of like the fact that we broke up the cube. That way it exposes the inner aggr aggregates. And you can see the outside and the inside. No funny business going on here. So, folks, I do not lie about things. And if you think I'm lying... I'll go to very great lengths just to do some simple some simple tests. So a lot of folks think geopolymers are fake and not real. And you got to be careful too because some geopolymers are hybrids and they're blends. They have Portland cement in it, but they're also a geopolymer combined into one to, to get the economics down and maybe some other things. But if it's got Portland cement in it and you put corrosion in the mix, you're going to get... You're going to get a, a material that uh, is going to break down because the bottom line is it's just a chemical reaction. When those two chemicals and materials mix with each other, they do not like each other. So, let's take a look. Uh oh, muriatic acid. It's just store-bought grade muriatic acid. It's not like some kind of high-tech muriatic acid. I could get some more aggressive stuff, but I want to get something that anybody can have access to. And uh, um, at any store, but again, it's in a plastic jug. There's no chemical reaction happening. It's not chewing through the jug. It kind of is, but that's because over time the stuff is pretty aggressive. But so we're going to use it on these these materials here. When you're dealing with muriatic acid, being an outdoor ventilated area, do not stand over the top. Let it let it fume out because it will have a lot of uh, fumes in it, so let's do this. Let's start with let's start with A. Be very careful with this. Do not stand over the top of any of this stuff. I mean, you you can already see. They're not liking each other. We'll fill it all the way to the top. Do not drink this. Okay, look. Bubbling up because it's... Look at that. There's a chemical reaction happening. You can see it dramatically over here if the damn thing will focus. Whew! Boy, he's going to town on that. Okay. Well, while he's doing his thing, I'm going to pull this out a couple days to see if there's anything even left. And then here's Here's the geopolymer. Here's here goes it goes nothing. Holy crap! I mean, it's like night and day are the kind of reactions that we're getting between the two materials. This is crazy. This is better than even I thought. I mean, I expect something, but, I mean, look at this. One looks like a damn volcano, and one has air bubbles coming out. 
So, folks, look. If you're going to build structures out of concrete or geopolymers so that they last in corros corrosion resist re uh, corrosion environment corrosive environments, look, which one are you going to pick? You got A? You got B? Ugh. I mean, this this dude on the right, if you could actually see what I could see, which this camera ain't so great, it is it is smoking inside there. That thing is like highly reactive. And this is just muriatic acid. This is not even the, the real gnarly stuff. I mean, you can actually still see inside the geopolymer as if it's just like water. Ugh. HDX. Put you guys on the map. Uh... Muriatic acid. I mean, this is crazy. Look, look, look at the two. You want to protect a structure, and you want to build something that's going to last. And uh, these are the kind of materials that we uh, that we have available to us in 2022. Why would you use that versus this? So anyway, I'm gonna come back in a couple of days. I'm going to clean these out, and <laughs> we'll see which one stands the test of time. So, anyway, uh, Eric Dupre, Texas Infrastructure Group. We do infrastructure consulting, and uh, we provide solution products and materials, just like what you see right here. The proof is in the pudding. In this case, it's in the mason jar. So anyway, uh, I'm going to sign off. If you guys, any, you guys any questions and you want to actually do any of this testing in a legitimate environment where you don't believe me, I would be more than happy to show up. And I'll also be more than happy at any competitive, competitive or competing products that think you can do that. Instead of that, I'd be happy to put it by side by side. And when we're done, we'll do a compressive, compressive test to see how much compressive strength is still remaining out of these various materials. So cementitious and metal. 100% pure fused geopolymer material. I mean, all it's doing is leaking out the air because you can still see through the muriatic acid. This stuff, you can't see nothing. And if you can see all the little bubbles that are happening inside, it is just going to town. It's just as simple as a chemical reaction. When you use materials that don't chemically react, you get that. When you use materials that chemically react with corrosion, you get failure. So, anyhow, uh, y'all take care. And uh, again, Eric Dupre, Texas Infra Group, coming live from Houston, Texas. Y'all uh, have a blessed day.